Hi there, it's Jen and I'm here to share with you my planner. I have kind of kind of jumped on the planner craze. Uh, not, I'm not going super crazy with it. Um, I wanted to show you what I'm using my planner for and how I'm going to organize. Um, this is the Heidi Swap planner that I got at Michael's and I decided to get it because it was a super good deal. Um, I got it for 30% off plus a 15% off coupon so it was a great deal. And um, I also liked the fact that the months, um, the calendar, like I could, so it's May right now, but I liked the fact that I could start in any month because they aren't um, dated for a particular year. And so um, let me just show you what it looks like. It's a soft, like the, I keep wanting to rub the cover and the inside cover because it's kind of a soft um, faux leather material so it's got stripes on the outside and then this cute polka dot on the inside and it has little pockets right here and one right here and then I have I have it so that May is at the beginning of my calendar because that's the month I'm starting in and each month has a different tab and each tab has a different cute divider and I think these would be fun to eventually like use in scrapbooking or something like that but um so then within each month let me just show you let's show you august so each month has the tab divider and then you open it up and it has a place for the who what when when and you can put a photo right here so the idea is that you can put a couple of photos for each month in here and then i have taken these out but it also comes with a page protector that has two spots for let's see Three by three photos inside or you can put little cards I know Heidi sells little um, like little cards that you can buy that are designed that can fit inside of these and then it has a little like a monthly card where you can write important things on the dates I think this would be great for birthdays or something like that and then on the back of that it says you are here and so it's kind of I think what it's meant for is for you to write kind of what you're thankful for this month like so it's a right now that's why it says you are here so thankful for that was awesome I probably should and then there's this uh, another little divider page which you could decorate if you wanted to or you could write stuff on whatever you want and then it opens to a monthly calendar and like I said it doesn't have any of the dates she sells stamps that you can stamp in the dates with if you want to and then it has a place for notes on the side it starts with Monday, so it goes Monday to Sunday. Um, notes on the side, a little place for a quote. This says goals, and then August happenings. And then when you flip the page, this is where it gets into your actual month. So it doesn't, because they're, they're not dated, which is one of the re reasons I bought it, like I said, I liked that it wasn't dated, um, so that I could use it for whatever year I choose. But, um, so it doesn't have like a day of the week or anything and it just has six days on each spread so there's not a whole you can't see a week at a glance um which for my purposes is just fine but that is just something to note i guess uh for people who will be using it and then there's a little place for notes at the bottom and then when you reach the end of the month it has another space for notes so that's kind of what the planner looks like and I just wanted to show you how I'll be using it. So I bought this planner specifically for me to plan out my YouTube videos and my scrappy goings on. <laughs> so I'm trying to get a schedule for my YouTube channel. As of right now, I have um, a regularly scheduled Saturday post and an every other Sunday post. Um, but I wanted to get more regular with my other posts and so I thought this would be a good way to, for me to keep track of what I'm doing and to kind of keep myself in gear. And so I'll just show you me because this is what's filled out. But you can see I've written a few different things on this part. I don't plan on actually using this at all. Um, I took out all of these page protectors because I'm not going to decorate this. This is purely for like writing purposes. Um, if there's something fun for me to put in here, I guess I could, but that's kind of not how I'm going to use it. I just got it because it was pretty and I needed a planner. So, um, and then I've gone ahead and 
written in kind of my schedule so you can see I have process video, process video, um, my six by six paper pad series, and then I have another series launching when that one ends. And then these are my inspired by videos that I do with Juliet. And then I have a few goals written down and a few things to remind me to check into. And just really quick, I want to go over the pen that I use because I absolutely, absolutely love it. It is an erasable pen. It's black. It's by Muji. Um, M-U-J-I is the company. It's a Japanese company. You can see from the writing on the pen. It's Japanese. My friend actually brought me a bunch. Um, she went to China for business and brought me a bunch back. But I know that they have Muji stores like in California and New York. Um, and I, I know that you can buy Muji pens online. They're just more expensive. And so, but I really recommend these pens. They're great. And let me just show you an example of them in use. So I'll just write my name right here. So I have, this one is a 0.4 tipped pen. This is a really thin one and I love it. So there's just my name and then it's super easy to erase. It just has like a little, um, this rubbery tip on it. It, they come in lots of colors. So I have a blue one. This is a 0.5. So let me just show you the difference. 0.5. Point four. It's hard to tell, but it's not a huge difference. But it's a slight difference. Anyway, they all erase the same and they're really great. And so they have, like I said, lots of different colors. I only got the ones that I think I'll use. I'm only using black for this planner. So, um, but I have other ones for other purposes, but I really love to have an erasable pen for my planner. So you can see I have a bunch. I have a few blacks, a purple, um, a blue and then some light blue. Um, if you don't want to order these online, um, Pilot makes a pen called the Friction and it is also erasable. I don't love it as much. It's not as thin of a pen, so if you don't like a thin tip, this might be a better one for you. This is something small, but it bugs me, but the eraser is not on the tip, so I can't keep the lid on and erase it. You have to take the lid off to erase it but it erases great. And these pens just come in red, blue, and black. And they're, like I said, a bit of a thicker tip. It's a point, uh, it's a seven, a point seven. So, and then these are two other pens from Muji that I really super love. It's a point three eight. These are not erasable, but these are a lot cheaper. And you can buy these on Amazon. Um, and I use these for everything. I bought a pack of 20, so I use them anytime I don't need to erase stuff. I use these pens. So that's just kind of an FYI. But like I said, I'm using my thin tipped black pen for this planner. The one thing I, I do have one complaint about this planner and it doesn't have a pen holder, which really bugs me. So I've just been putting it, I don't have anything really to store in here. So I've just been clipping it on the edge like this. And when I close my planner, here's my other complaint. When you close it like this, the pages go into this little pocket. It doesn't bother me enough to not like the planner, but I wish it didn't do that. But when I close it, you can see the pen kind of sits off to the side and it works fine. So it's not a huge deal, but it would have made sense to me for them to have a little pen clip, but whatever. Anyway, okay, moving on. So I showed you my month at a glance. Now I want to show you something I'm really excited about and it's super fun. So these are my, this is where my month starts. So I, on each day I just kind of write some of the tasks. So like I said, each Saturday I have um, my 6x6 six six paper pad love videos. And so on the day before I wrote myself a note to take photos for for the layout for that video. And so right here I'm writing things that I need to do on those days and then in here I'm um, writing just some extra notes so I think that this is meant for you to decorate if you want to I don't think there's rules but <laughs> I'm sure there's not rules um, but that's kind of what that is but this is something I've, I'm really excited about and this is um, a page planner insert from Happy Little Studio um, this is a 
little um, shop that is on Tracy Claiborne's website. And she is, if you've listened to the Scrap Gals podcast at all, they talk about scrapbooking and all kinds of crafty things like that. Um, Tracy is one of the hosts of that show. And um, she has a little shop with lots of um, printables and some of them are planner ins inserts. And so this is um, a page planner insert. And this I super love because it allows me, because I'm using this for my YouTube, um, like planning out my YouTube channel and, and all the things that go on my YouTube channel, um, this has been a great tool for me so that I can kind of get an idea of what I want to do. So I have, so this is um, where I can sketch out the layouts that I'm going to create because for some of them I already have ideas in mind like the 6x6 paper pad love and the inspired by videos. So if you watched my inspired by Nancy Damiano video that uh, Juliet and I posted on last Sunday, which would have been the 3rd of May. Um, this is the sketch that I drew out before I made it. And then in these little lines, I kind of write some notes to myself. So, um, I wrote subtitle, use the same font separated by dots. Uh, use subtle B-side patterns, attention to details. So those were things that were Nancy Damiano traits. And so I just kind of write myself little notes about what I want to do on those layouts. And then the awesome thing about these pages is that you can print them front and back. So this side kind of pertains to this half of the week. And I realize that this is probably more space than I need for just half a week. In fact, if I wanted to, I could cut this in half, but or cut it right here. But um, that's fine because this was just a random idea that I had and I just threw it in there and then I can use it for future layouts. Um, and then on the back side, I have um, the layouts that are for the, the pages that we'll be posting on this half of the week. So I really love these page planners and she has other like story starters, um, inserts and different things. And she also did mention that she was probably going to do um, like card planning, uh, layout things like this, as well as eight and a half by 11, if there's enough demand for it. And so that's awesome. But I just wanted to show you how it comes. So this is, I just printed it on cardstock because that's what I have, but you could print it on plain printer paper if you wanted to. I wanted something a little bit more sturdy and the grid lines are gray. They're like a, they're not super dark, so it's easy to write on them. You can see I wrote with my um, black erasable pen and it's very legible. Um, anyway, so she's made them to fit a five and a half by eight and a half, um, planner and the Heidi swap one is I think six by eight. So what I do after I print them off is I just trim a quarter of an inch off each side. Let me just, let me just show you how I do this really quick. So I'll just take my trimmer I don't know why I'm holding my pen for you. It's precious to me. I seriously love those Muji pens. Everyone should get one. Um, and then you just cut it in right in half. And so in half will be five and a half inches because it's an 11 inch sheet of paper. So then you can see that you have the inserts and they're front and back. And Heidi Swap does sell a hole punch for the planner. I don't have it, so I just use my crocodile, and then I just used a page in the back that I don't care about um, to line up the holes and punch them myself. So for now, that's what I'm doing. But I might get, I might buy the Heidi Swap one. Um, anyway, so this page planner insert has been really invaluable to me. So I will make sure to link up the shop below so that you can check these out because they're awesome and I love them. So. Um, Again, that's Happy Little Studio, and that's at tracyclaiborne.com. I'll link it up below. But, um, so I use my page planners in coordination with, with the pages that I'm going to post, and so far I've really liked it, and so I will just plan out the different things that are going on for my month. And so um, that's how I'm going to use my planner. I will have probably a page planner insert for between each weekly page, unless for some reason I don't need one that week. Um, 
but this will help me also stay on top of things and I'm going to be gone for a week in June so that I can get ahead um, and have the videos posted in time for that. So that's how I'm using my planner and I hope that's helpful to you. If you liked this video, please give me a big thumbs up so YouTube knows. And um, if you have any questions, just leave me a comment below. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.